Good morning. So, the sun hasn't even risen yet, <clears throat> but check this out. It's about ready to. That is going to be a beautiful sunrise. But I am going to be far too busy to even admire it, except for just now. So, yesterday, um, actually, and I would back it up, Friday I was out and about, and we were driving past the, uh, the hatchery, <clears throat> and there was a big sign that said, Free Roosters. So I gave him a call. I said, uh, well, can I pick up as many as I want? And they're like, yeah. So I called yesterday and asked them, you know, how many do you have? And they're like, well, about two, three hundred. Okay. So uh, most of you know, I do feed my dogs raw food. So we do produce all of their food here on the farm. And I ended up buying some Cornish Cross so I could raise them up and butcher them at eight weeks. And I bought 35. And it was going to take about eight weeks <laughs> before we could butcher them. And when I came across that sign, I thought, hey, this is a perfect opportunity to get a lot of meat uh, in a little amount of time. So I went down there yesterday with the horse trailer and um, I said, you know, just fill it up. Uh, give me as, as much as you, you can. And they filled this horse trailer. So I gave them water um, and then I didn't feed them because um, you want their crop and stuff empty because you don't want contamination or cross-contamination between the animals while you're processing them. But I've left them in the horse trailer just overnight, so they, they slept in there. It was a little confined, and I didn't like that other than I didn't really have any other option. They just kept packing them in there. <laughs> and then they're like, come get more. So check this out. The horse trailer is in the garden next to the greenhouse and inside you'll see a whole bunch of roosters. They are bantams, they are much smaller, so they're going to end up processing out about the size of a Cornish game hen, which is fine because um, it could be one per dog. Um, I am going to process some of them for our use because uh, I was reading up on <clears throat> these particular varieties of chickens and uh, they say the meat's very, very flavorful. So we're going we're gonna to process some of those for ourselves. But I went to a friend um, who I know does a lot of Cornish Cross. He, he, um, his farm is specifically for raising chickens. And he let me borrow his plucker. So we're going to be processing them out here by the compost bin so that um, we, can, we can bleed them out in the compost and then we can pluck them and then throw the feathers into the compost because that'll be a good, uh, a good place for that stuff. But in the meantime, it's like really, really early. I tried taking my quiz today. I'm in the master's program for agricultural science and I'm taking one class this semester and they do an honor lock program where it uses Chrome, which I hate Chrome. I hate all Google products, but um, it uses Chrome to do this video so they can, the professor can see you like you would in a normal classroom. You sit in the classroom and you take the exam in front of the professor. Well, uh, it was working a couple days ago, probably about Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, when I tested the program, and it was doing just fine. And then when I opened my computer this morning, it was doing an update, so I had to wait for that whole thing to go through and then uh, restart the, the computer. Uh, this laptop is from 2005, so it's really, really outdated and old. But this update, totally screwed up everything. I could not get into the program. So I took a bunch of uh, screenshots, to uh, pictures of um, what pro problems I was having, sent it off to the professor and said, hey, look, I don't 
know how to fix this. I'm not an IT person. And I have about 150 roosters that I need to process today. So can I have an extension? I haven't heard back from him yet because he is in a different time zone. So we're just going to have to wait and, and see see what uh, what he says. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be fine. Otherwise, I will be dead on my feet later today trying to work through this program. So, all right. Well, I am going to set up the, the, the area and get it all ready for uh, the farm helper to come out. She's going to be coming out to help process all of these. And we're going to package them all up and put them in the freezer today. So, all of them. Yes, it's going to be a long day. So, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to get started. I have everything set up. Uh, let me tour you through the process of how we're going to be doing this. So we'll take the chickens out of the horse trailer. We will walk them over here to the compost bin where I will bleed them out. From there, once they're dead, they go into the hot pot so I can scald them and get the feathers super loose. Then we move them to the plucker. The plucker takes about four seconds or so. And once they're done being plucked, we don't even need to worry about all of the feathers being gone, just most of them. Then we go over to the table over here where we bag them up and then the ice chest to store them until we get enough to go into the freezer. And then we walk all the way over to the garage to the chest freezer. <laughs> So Desi's here to help me out. She has her murder apron on. I have my murder apron on and we're going to get started. Uh, we do not have the ability to show you the process because culling animals is not conducive to the community standards of YouTube. Yay! So uh, we'll kind of show you some of the stuff as we get through it. But as in the meantime, let's get to work. Yep. All right. <laughs> I guess I could let go of his leg. Huh? 
more than 50 in the freezer already. We're, we're getting there. Yeah, a couple of them came out, so we're going to need to uh, purge them in. Okay. I know. But there's some hens in there. You told me it was only going to take a couple minutes. Well, she didn't know how long it was going to take. I told you whatever was going to be left was going to have to go over to the uh, orchard. Okay. 12.30. her bag and it's working out really nicely. Well, except for the really small ones, so maybe we did three per bag. Do you need any more water if you're doing only one bag now? Yes, we have to have water for the next batch. So, oh, that one will be fine. So yeah, we can turn the rest of them off. I'm sorry, I didn't know what you meant. We have some escapees, so we're going to have to figure out how to round these guys up. And we still have quite a few in the trailer. These guys are going to have to stay in here for a while, so I will bring them food and water. And it might be the next day or the day after before we get to them. But the trailer stays pretty cool. Uh, there's still airflow in there. Uh, a lot of shade, so they should be able to do just fine in there for a couple days. I'm not worried about them. Um, but uh, we definitely have a huge swarm of wasps now that are digging this, not digging us. <laughs> we're not digging them, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to package these up, get it done and over with. I'm going to have to clean out the... Uh, the plecker and store it until I'm ready to do this all over again. But a good busy day, lots of stuff done. Um, you can see we did uh, we did the hanging and and bleeding out over the compost bin so that all of that uh, goes in there, and then of course all of the feather waste go in there. All right, well, until next time, happy gardening. <laughs> see you soon.